some serious fallout from the latest storm to batter the Bay Area. A soggy hillside collapsed near Interstate 680, and that caused extensive damage to the main water line for the city of Benicia, prompting officials there to implement a stage four critical water shortage. KTV's Tom Vakar live for us now in Benicia. And Tom, that alert means people must now reduce their water use by 40%. Any idea for how long? There is no idea for how long, but there are, believe it or not, a couple of silver linings. First silver lining is straightforward, and that is that uh, we have a surplus of water right now and a surplus of snow. The other silver lining is this time of year, people use far less water than they do in the summer and in the fall. Benicia's main water pipeline, a whopping three feet in diameter, buried 10 feet deep, was damaged Wednesday during a landslide just off Gold Hill Road near I-680. That forced officials to completely shut down the 60-year-old pipeline and declare a stage four critical water shortage. That's because the pipeline's daily flow of 4.5 million gallons is now zero. This is a, an incident that happened a day ago. We are still assessing the damage. So Benicia's 28,000 residents plus businesses and schools have been ordered to cut their water use by 40 percent. We realize this is a pretty big ask, but it's really necessary to give our staff the time to get in and do the fixes. As officials deal with the damaged pipeline, Benicia will take water from a secondary water source, Lake Herman, which has a taste issue. Some residents and some that have uh, different sensitivities may detect that there may be a, more of an earthy kind of flavor to the water, but regardless of that, it's, it's indicative of just the water source. It is still 100% safe to drink. Nonetheless, that caused a run on bottled water at local stores. But they said it's okay to drink. So went in the store to get some water, but they're pretty much sold out already. We're not washing the dishes as often. We're taking shorter showers and all, and uh, we're just trying to conserve on our water. And we're buying bottled water <laughs> to drink. Last May, Benicia asked for a 30% reduction in use when an aging pipeline broke underneath the city's water treatment plant, a request drought-weary customers nonetheless stepped up to. I am confident that they're going to step up again to do that. I don't think that should be a problem. It might be a little harder for people that have larger households. Now this is similar to the slide two weeks ago in Novato that threatens another huge 30-inch water main that transports water from the Russian River to Marin County. In that case, there was also a PG&E gas line that became exposed. In this case, there are some communication lines very close to that water main, and as a result of that, we have some problems that have to be sorted out. When it gets fixed is anybody's guess at this point. Tom Vakar, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Tom, thank you. The 